story time makeup video you guys I'm going to be doing my makeup and doing the story time at the same time and um, I do want to say that I already prepped my face you guys I have on the Fenty Beauty concealer I forgot what kind what it was called but we have on Fenty Beauty concealer and Fenty Beauty eyebrow pencil you guys um, I just put the, the concealer like on the bottom of my eyes and just drag it around my face and I put some concealer on my nose and the concealer is the concealer's probably like off my nose already because I sweat a lot and it's hot where I'm at. And um, that loud sound, you guys, is my AC, so I'm sorry about that. But um, let's just get into this video. I'm going to actually contour my face first with this um, Wet n Wild um, contouring palette. I'm going to show it because it's so it's kind of crazy. But um, I just want to say, you guys remember when um, I was trying to work at the strip club? Okay, when I do my contouring and blending, I make the most ugliest faces. Do you guys remember now I was trying to work at the strip club? And um, I tried for like a lot, um, a lot of different strip clubs, you guys. And I would say that I was pretty angry with that because like no one was really trying to it was kind of hard to try to get a job at the strip club, you guys. Um, before my BBL, actually, I felt like it was easier to get a job at the strip club. And then after I got my BBL, it wasn't so, I thought, it was, ooh, I thought, oh, it's going to be easier to get a, uh, a job at the strip club. Now I got this BBL. They're going to want to hire me with my big old booty and all this stuff. And my booty's actually not that big. But I'm over here thinking, like, oh yeah, they're going to hire me. They're going to want me in this club. Yes. Thinking like in my head, like I'm gonna be an asset for them. Like they, they, they need me. Like I'm a good asset for them. They need me. That was a stupid attitude I was having, you guys. And when I was going to these clubs, I was realizing that it wasn't that easy to get a job at the strip club. I wasn't trying to be a stripper. I was trying to be a um um a bartender or a server. And. I know I'm not a 10, like the best looking girl, but I was looking at some of the girls that worked there and I was like, if you might you guys got hired, I don't like I'm not hiring me. Like, what is the problem? Um and so each time I try to get a job at the strip club, they'll tell me, oh, we'll call you back, we'll call you back, or um they'll tell me, um, yeah, basically like, oh, we'll call you back. And they never do. So I'm just gonna get straight to the point, you guys. Um, me trying to work at the strip club, you guys. God was basically trying. God was trying to stop that. Okay. God was. God knew that after I got my BBL, he thought I was gonna try to work at the strip club. God knew I was gonna try to do that already. So. God was like, oh yeah, she has this big head, now she's got a BBL, now she thinks she's gonna like, oh, they're gonna hire me, yes, they have to. God was like, I'm gonna burst her bubble. It ain't gonna work out like that because she don't belong to the strip club. No offense to anyone else working at the strip club, you know. No shame, I don't, no shame, no, not trying to talk crap about anyone working at the strip club. But God did not want me there. I was like, uh, no. God was like, no. So he kept trying to put a stop. He did put a stop to each time I tried to get a job at the strip club. And he, when I were to get a job at the strip club, it was either, because I had a, when, last year, and I had started, well, I started my job where I'm working at now in November of last year. So, like around November and December, I was still trying to work at the strip club, you guys. I don't think I was making any videos about it, but I was. And um, I got hired at one strip club. They wanted me to come down and start, and they hired me just through Instagram, looking at my pictures. And they asked me to come down and everything. And I was like, oh yes, I got a second job now at the strip club. Oh yes, uh-huh. Um, 
and they want me to come down, but they want me to come down the hours where I was working. Like, I work at nighttime, you guys. I should work all day. So I was like, dude, like, how am I gonna go there? And I, I can't call out of work. I'm the only dispatcher my job, my, my boss has. So I can't just call out. So I'm like, what do I do? Like, dang it. So you know what? I'm not about to just, I'm not about to risk my, 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 my good job that I have for just, I mean, I don't know. Like, in my heart, I was like, you know what? Just let it go. So I just let it go. And I felt like right then and there, God was, God was testing me. I feel like God was really, 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 really testing me right there. And um, I didn't end up going, you guys. And me right now, you guys, um, I have been walking with God since last year. I've been taking God really serious. Actually, no, I'm taking God real serious this year. But I've been, my journey began last year, actually seriously. Like, like I'm taking God like really serious. I got sick and tired of my life, me being sad, depressed, and all this, you know? And I wanted to work at the strip club because I thought it was going to bring me happiness. Be like, how's the strip club gonna bring you happiness? I thought it was gonna bring me happiness in a sense where I make a lot of money and I can just do whatever I want with me and my kids. We can just do whatever and just live good and all this stuff and um, try to do it the fast way, you know? And God was like, uh, no, honey, you're not about to do that. And plus, easy come, easy go, right? So God was like, no. And you guys, I'm not gonna put any setting powder or anything below my eyes. I'm gonna leave it wet and dewy, just like that. And um, so I really wanted to work at the strip club mostly because I know you can make good money and make a lot of tips. So I wanted that, you know? So I was already right there getting greedy with like, oh yeah, money, 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 money. And not really, <coughs> not really, um, sorry, it's my phone. Not really trying to work, I guess not hard, I don't know, but it was fast money and I thought it was something that would be benefit really benefit me and my kids in the long run and God did not see it that way um, so um, I was oh yeah so I just wanted the fast money and God was like no no so then now that I took my relationship with God really serious you guys this year like really I've been closer to God more than Ever okay? I'm sorry. I mean, I don't mean to start preaching here and stuff like that. But this is basically where it's leading to. This is leading towards God, and this has to go hand in hand. So I have to bring up God in this whole situation because God has to do with the story. Um. So then this year, I'm starting to realize a lot of things why God allowed this and that to happen and why all this stuff to happen. Um. I feel like I'm gonna get emotional right now, and I really don't want to cry, but. Um, I really feel like God is, God is calling me, I'm, 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 mm. I'm gonna start putting on, let's do the eyeshadow, you guys, let's do the eyeshadow real quick, okay, yeah, let's do that, start out, I'm using the Pure Festival palette, you guys, these are the bright colors, they're right in here, we're going with the browns. Um, but you guys, um, God actually has been calling me for a long time. That's why he's been shutting doors and not allow certain things to happen in my life because he was like, no, honey, I have more for you. I have bigger plans for you. Okay, so God was like, no, girl, I have big plans for you, honey. You're not going to work at the strip club. You know, God was like, no, you're not going to go there. Because God knew what, what 
God knew what could have came from that. And God did not want that for me. You know? So I put on this color called Epic. On my eyelids, you guys. You guys can see the Epic. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the All Night. This really dark brown right here. And my crease. So, God was calling me. And God knew I was going to come to him. And God did not want me to be a part of nothing what the strip club had to offer. He didn't want nothing from the strip club to be attached to my name. He didn't want none of that. And I'm so grateful that God had blessed me with this job that I have now. And I don't have to walk around half naked you know what I mean? To make good money. So I know I'm gonna be successful. Something, something really big gonna come in the future, you guys. It's gonna change my life. I don't know what it is. And you guys, remember I told, talked to you guys about the um, cannabis? I started my cannabis brand. Well, guess what, you guys? God put a stop to that too. But that's up for a whole nother video. That is for a whole other video, you guys. I'm gonna be something real simple like this, you guys. Nothing too crazy. And I'm actually gonna go put on my eyelashes um, off camera. I'm pretty much done. But, um, you guys, if you guys feel like, like not satisfied in life, you know, the decor, I wasn't satisfied in life, you guys. I just wanted more. And I thought me working at the store club would help me. Ooh, that looked kind of crazy. I thought me working at the strip club would help me to get more in life, you know? But in reality, when I was trying to work at the strip club, you guys, I was sad, depressed, felt so alone. Um, kept going through depression, all that stuff. And then I thought like money, me working, working at the strip club, just trying to find somewhere where I can make a lot of money will just make me happy. And in reality, God was allowing me to suffer because he wanted me to come to him. You know, God wanted me to come to him. So he was allowing me to go through all this for a reason. And sometimes we don't wake up, but we ignore the signs what God is trying to whisper, all this stuff. We, like, I heard his whispers, you know, so I woo, woke up. Sometimes we don't hear his whispers and then we just be stuck in the rut, wondering why we're in this rut. But I have not felt depressed this whole entire year, not an ounce of depression, sadness. Maybe a little sadness, then a little, a little depressed, and I prayed about it and it went away. So, me thinking I have to I need money to make me happy make me happy make my life better was not it. When I actually fully gave myself to God, that's when everything changed you guys. Did I get rich? No I did not. No. I have a good job that I'm able to do things, pay my bills and and just be content and I am so that makes me so happy. Or just be just I don't know what it is. I just feel happy for no reason now. I feel sane. Um, like, I have a problem. I talk to God about it and he always fixes it. Like, he turned things around. He always turning things around for me, you guys. Like, different little situations I can't even explain. I can't even think of right now. But a lot of situations that happen in my life, I don't talk about it. He changes it. He turns it around for me, you know, it's like, God is so awesome, like, and that's all I have to say, you guys, I'll be right back, I'm trying, I don't want to cry, I'm, I'm going to put on my eyelashes and go through my hair, I'll be right back, okay, you guys, and we are back, yes, this is the wig, you guys, I just threw her on because, I didn't know what to do with my real hair, so we throw on this wig, and, that is that you guys i hope you guys find this video helpful 
um, or whatnot, you guys. And I appreciate all the support that I get from you guys. And um, I'm going to be start doing my videos like this. I just spit. <laughs> just bleed it like. Anyway, so I'm going to be start. I'm gonna start doing. I'm going to be start doing my videos like this, you guys. Um, I'm gonna start doing makeup story time videos and um, other little things, but mostly makeup story time videos, you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out, tools, and happy travel. Bye, guys. <laughs>